joined by Hofstra coach Simon Radio following the Pride's 1-1 tie with Lynn and Mary. Coach, opening thoughts on today's game? Uh, extremely disappointed that we didn't get the win. I thought we played extremely well. I thought we pressured them in the right pockets. I thought we created the guilt of chances. But as we know, sometimes uh, we have to do a little bit better in the final third and we hadn't. Uh, Frustrating, frustrating. Um, Borison came out really aggressive on that opening goal. Um, is that something you like to see out of her? That aggressiveness, trying to control the box. Would you like to, to play maybe more conservatively in the future? No, we we play a high pressure game, and because of that, our goalkeeper needs to play a sweeper keeper. It then becomes an individual decision on when to commit to the stepping out in that 50-50, or when to drop and make before we make a decision. Unfortunately, Jenna stepped at the wrong time and didn't recover quick enough and gave her, you know, she had two really good chances, Sarah Seager, in reality, and uh, both were from decisions from our centre-backs and Jenna recognising when we should be attacking or when we should be dropping, and unfortunately, uh, when you do that to Sarah Seager, she's going to score a goal. Uh, coach, with the uh, start of today's game, you seem to appear to use a 4-3-3 formation. Is that usually what you go with to uh, continue the attacking offense like today? I mean, you had a grand total of 37 shots. Yeah, we uh, that's our system. We play the how I like us to play it. We, again, like you mentioned, 37 shots. 17 shots on goal. That's, I think that might be a record. I don't know. Um, it's a lot more statistically better than we did against Towson, and we beat Towson 6-0. You know, and, that, and that's the frustrating thing. Like I mentioned before, we we had we had people in the right spots. We had people in the right areas to finish chances. They just didn't. Uh, we do a lot of finishing practice. You know, unfortunately, we, the goalkeeper made some good saves. Got to give her credit. She attacked crosses. She did a good job with that. But we have to find a way there uh, as a team, as a collective. We have to find a way, and today we didn't. Um, it looked kind of like a similar game, at least at first to Thursday against Northeastern, but you were able to get that last goal. What does that say about your team, though, to be able to kind of get that, maybe get the monkey off the bat, the back? Yeah, again, it's a, it's a tough one because uh, Willem and Mary didn't play Thursday, so they had a week, a week rest to our two-day rest. So that, that obviously plays into an advantage of them and maybe that's what you saw today with a little bit of lack of clinical uh, performance in front of goal. Usually when you're fresher, you're going to be a bit more clinical. And maybe we should have been, uh, maybe if we had a, a week off like they did, maybe that would have been the outcome, but I don't know. Uh, we played well. We played like I want us to play. There was good energy throughout the team. Uh, we put them in positions where we should find success. And give credit to Willem and Mary. They're, they're bent and they they put last gaps tackles in. They counted quite well. And we just, you know, this is a game we've lost. And I know it's a tie, but from our perspective, we've dropped two points, which should never have happened. And, uh, you know, I've got to put that on me. I should have found a way to make it happen. But we were finding so much success in the way we were doing things. It's very difficult to change things up in the hope that you might do something better when, you know, to be honest, I thought we were excellent. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, Coach, uh, does this change your plans at all for Thursday's match against Drexel? No, we always do it one by one. Uh, we need to win. Drexel's a, a traditionally extremely tough place to play. And we're going to have to battle. And if we, if we don't have the fighters on Thursday, we'll not win. And then, then we puts us in a very precarious position moving forward. We have to make the playoffs. So we have to find points, either on the road or at home, to make the playoffs. And, you know, this game, we gave it away. So we should be 12 points and, and probably coasting into playoffs. Now we're not. Now we've got to battle and hope that results fall our way and get some wins in the next two or three games. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.